Hello, all you beautiful viewers, and welcome back to Ghostbusters the video game, and back in the month of Halloween. It took a year to get here, people, but we're four levels away, more or less, from the ending of the game. And you see that? You see that right there? Return to the Hotel Sedgwick? You see all that stuff on the walls? This is my ultimate... This is the level I hate. Why? Because it plays in one of my greatest phobias. Spiders. I'm an arachnophobic. And... Well, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. Uh, oh yeah. So, a bit of news here, if anybody actually watches this, though I know some people will. I've decided to join the... <sighs> PQR UK Gaming UK? What the hell? What's the name of it again? One second, I'm just gonna check my phone here. I have them on Twitter. Anyway, it's basically a extension of fr the uh, Freedom Group. It's disappointing. No. Disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Not being covered in slime by Phantom Ghouls out to kill us. Okay, why are we here? I thought it was still back at the courthouse. Or back at the... You guys didn't bang the place up at HQ. Last time you were here. If this place huh. is a Mandala note, a few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's... And I love how I'm just like... Chandeliers destroyed <laughs> I love how my character is just like looking around like, what is going on here? Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. Yeah, true. Definitely a Mandala node. If we don't shut yeah. down Shandor's Mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant what? as this. Not to mention also becoming okay. a bastion of absolute mind-numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey, Holy centuries, that's not too bad. Don't lay out two grand a month for a 600 square foot walk up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. Two, two grand a month? Damn. That's an expensive apartment you have there. Is that Coke? Let me look here. Nope, it's called Cola. Alright. Hmm. Can't get in there. It's an ambush. Get them hot. Wait a minute, wait. I don't Ooh. think they're a threat. They may only be residual hauntings. I think Ray's Interesting. Right. They haven't crossed entirely into this dimension. They're just psychokinetic echoes. Ghosts, ghosts of ghosts. ghosts. Completely harmless. Interesting. Right. I was hoping to meet a friendly ghost someday, but I'm gonna try meeting Casper right now. I'm getting a strong valence spike higher up in the building. Melissa said she was called to the 12th floor. Let's start there. Okay. Just a second, boys. I'm just looking around to just. Let's see what's around. Oh, up, 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 up. What do Come we got? On, let's go. Etch. Hey, what the fuck? Is that. Pants? I play this game a lot, people, but I have never seen this one. Like this. I never knew this existed. Cursed artifact. Possessed bell bottom jeans. Oh god! The 90s are back! And but seriously, I've never known about this one. Oh yeah! These pants keep on trucking with nobody inside. Circa 1970. Rumored to have been first to have first been haunted during a seance on the Merry Pranksters tour bus. These jeans have long been a staple of the psychedelic supernatural underground. Oh god, they're from the 70s. Somebody's bringing the 70s back. My apologies. Spotted backstage at Woodstock, caught on grainy 16mm film and candlelit background of a height Ashbury Lovin. For photo, I can't even speak today. Photographed riding behind a member of a notorious biker gang, fleeing Altamont, or fleeing Altamont. The walking pants have been around. Whenever weirdness or tragedy strikes the hipster scene, the walking pants are the hippie equivalent to the girl on the road ghost story. Prior to their resurfacing this year, they haven't been seen since 1981. Possessed bell-bottom jeans. Ladies and gentlemen, the 70s are back and they're demonically possessed. Come on! Shut up, I'm coming! Jeez. No patience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Do, 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 do. Nothing. They'd have shut down the power when they closed. Well, well, of we course. Well, we can try climbing, but the last time we were here, a level three animator took out the bottom of the staircase. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's right. I forgot you weren't here last time, Winston. So no stairs, no elevators. Did you hear something? Over there. Come on. That sounded ominous as shit. I think we're dealing with a level five anchored ambusher. Be careful. It went into the stairwell. We've got it cornered. Help! This is just how a level five anchored ambusher lures you in. Of course. Anchored ambusher. All right. The manager. What are you doing? What the? F how did I teleport over here? Monsters. Everywhere. Okay. There was another voice. A woman screamed. Are you alone in here? All right. I just said ghosts and monsters everywhere. Does that sound like I'm alone? I need to be a smart ass. He meant people. Yeah. Then yes. I think so. <laughs> well, I guess that explains it. Sir, there's no need to fear. These are just shadows, echoes of actual ghosts. Okay. They can't hurt you. Come with us, sir. We can lead you to safety. Yep. Well, that's weird. Doop doop doop. How the hell did he get in front of us? Uh. Um. How did that guy, I guess, like in life, not notice the motherfucking knife in the lady's hand? Oh, don't worry. I use this to pleasure myself. I don't know. Most of the old staff knows the okay. story of the spider witch. A professional widow who did unimaginable things in a room on the 12th floor back in the 19th. Well, I think we have our boss fight. By the way, Black Widow. Hmm. Why didn't you evacuate with everyone else? I came back last night to read Fucking spiders, records, of course. The hotel won't let me out. The door's shut on me. The right. phones are down too. That means we're trapped now too. Awesome. And we have to hope that Peter figures out we're missing. There goes a weekend. Yeah, we're gonna be here a while. Necessarily, the twelfth floor is apparently the core of this node. If we can get the power back on, we can take the elevators. Alrighty. Hey, hey, don't joke about that. Where are the circuit breakers for this place? We don't have a lot of time. True. Breakers. In my office. But the city came and turned off most of our power after the electrical fire on the third floor. There's no way to turn it back on from here. That's okay. We've got to find some way to get the elevators moving. Yeah. There's a backup generator in the utility room, off the kitchen. Oh, of course, the kitchen. Blackouts. Perfect. Let's give it a try. To the kitchen. Wait for it. Oh, we can't get back. Wait, what? I thought that was the way we were supposed to go. Which way the kitchen? Oh, that way, the kitchen, apparently. My apologies. Watch out. Oh, so that was him that screamed like that. What the fuck are these things? Webbed fiend. Oh, yeah, we're definitely in spider territory. Webbed fiends. Dead webbed fiends. What? Oh. Jump out of the way. Yeah, no need. Ow. I got my pull shotgun. Nothing like it, nothing else to know. Alright. Oh, that's our final upgrade then. The Mazon Collider or Mazon Collider Accelerator. Fully decked. Feeling good. Oh great, there's more of them, of course. Damn right. I guess some of them apparently fulminate to this plane that doesn't All seem right. like they're Yeah, would you be happy about it? Well, let's find that backup generator. Let's find Mr. Scream. Is it through here? Hey, what's up? I knew it was hot, but damn, I didn't know it could cause men to explode too. 
Uh, who just decided to like, hey, let's paint part of the wall. Some dark, scary corner. Yeah. I know I've said this before, but be careful. Don't alone. Okay. Cruel oven. Alarming banging, banging and cries for help drift from the microwave. The origins of this evil cooking device are unclear. What is known, however, is that demons and devils apparently love a home-cooked meal. Awesome. Who doesn't love demonically possessed cooking where alrighty awesome this place is wrecked did you and Vinkman do all this when you were chasing you here no this anybody is else hear a voice there they left it this is the work of something big when you say big do you mean big big Probably. The very least, maybe even bigger. That sounds pretty big. The manager said there was a generator room around here somewhere. Look for a door. Sure. It has to be yeah. around here somewhere. Keep an eye out for a sign. Yeah. There it is. Generator room. Okay. Oh, well, that was easy. Hey, rats! Look, cadet found the emergency generator. Look around for a switch. Oh, to start it yeah, up. this seems smart. Standing water near a power generator. A switch or something that would start up a generator. All right, Egon, but you should know I'm keeping score. What did I say? There's a lot of water on the floor. Okay. Watch out for static discharge when you activate the generator. You yeah, mean sure. Say he could be electrocuted after the power's back on. Could happen. Outside chance. Yeah, thanks, guys. Just just loving the friendship in this group. Ah, sweet music. Sweet music for five. Ah, crap. That, water. that sounds like an excellent recommendation. Looks like that tower cable is causing some trouble. Get it out of the water, then. Go, 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 go. I know this. Come on, kid. The elevator should be working. Unless something... Never mind. Let's get back to the lobby. Okay, will you shut up about anything you got? Anytime you say anything, shit goes wrong. Listen. What's that smell? Us. About to be cooked. Look out, it's the late ship. Yeah, but this is just the help. Where's the boss? I can't Good question. I just said that out loud. I know that guy. It's the mass poisoner. Chef the forest. Shut no, the forest? No, anything in here, even if you're really hungry. I'm about to swallow my own tongue, Ray. Would that be okay? <laughs> Would that be okay? <laughs> oh, just choked him on the spoon. Ah! Whole bunch of fat in my face. Where are you? Got him. Full gear. Chef de Forest. Chef de Forest was a talented chef on the verge of becoming world famous. The night he, re the night the restaurant critic came to his restaurant, however, things went poorly. In order to avoid a bad review, the intensely paranoid chef poisoned the critic's dessert course. He hid the poison poorly, though, and it actually found its way into the staff's dinner for the following evening. The entire staff, including Chef de Forest himself, died, died horrible and painful deaths. Like the rest of his staff, Chef de Forest was imported to NYC and the Sedgwick Hotel with his kitchen staff. His kitchen equipment. 